Hello, today is our third and final lesson on mean, median, mode, and range. Today we're going to focus on mean, and in our mean, one of our numbers is going to be missing. So they're going to tell you what the mean is and most of the data, but you might have one of them missing that you need to find out. So it says JoJo wants to get a B in math. To get a B, you need to have a mean or an average of 80% for all scores. So this is what the mean needs to be. What does he need to get on his last test in order to get a B in the class? So we have one, two, three, four, five test scores already. He has another one that he doesn't know that he needs to figure out what does he need to get in order to get an average of 80%. So to find the mean, we add up all the numbers and divide by how many we have, and we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six now total. So when we add them all up and divide by 6, we should get 80%. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, I should have written it over here maybe, and we're going to add up all of our numbers, but then we're also going to have to add x, and we don't know what x is, so we're going to add them all up and divide by 6. We're not actually going to divide by 6 yet. So if we add these up, 82 plus 73 plus 90, plus 78, plus 65, we get 388. So 388 plus some number divided by 6 gives us 80. Well, this is just a two-step equation that we know how to solve. So we did simplify. We added up our numbers that we could. We added up these ones. Now. We just need to solve it. Draw your line to undo. We cannot divide this by 6 because we are, we're not there yet, you guys. To undo dividing by 6, the opposite of dividing by 6 would be multiplying by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 0. So we have 388 plus x. This goes back to solving equations. And then 80 times 6 gives us 480. And then undo positive 388 would be subtracting 388. So we end up with x equals 480 minus 388 be a 92. So he would have to get 92% on his next test in order to get a B in math. So let's try a couple more like this. Find the unknown number in the set given the information. So when we add up all of these and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, our mean should be 14. So let's add the numbers that we can, and then we're also going to have to add x. So negative 10 plus negative 5 plus 14 plus 23 gives us 22. So now we need to solve this to figure out what is the unknown number. So first the opposite of dividing by 5 would be multiplying by 5. 5 divided by 5 eliminates. So we have 22 plus x. Those eliminate because 5 divided by 5 is just 1. 14 times 5 is 70. And then the opposite of a positive 22 would be negative 22. 70 minus 22 gives us 48. So our missing number, in order to have a mean of 14, would have to be 48. Big number. One reason back here why we don't solve it both... Uh, divide by 5, 22 plus x divided by 5. If you wanted to, technically you could divide this by 5 and write this as x divided by 5, and then you'd have, what is 22 divided by 5? 4.4. It's not always going to be a nice number, so 4.4 plus x over 5 is 14. You technically could solve it that way for, as well. Um, it's just more complicated having to deal with the fractions, so that's why we don't normally do it that way. We just get rid of multiply and divide, and then add and subtract. So let's take a look at the next one. We don't know what x is. We need to find it. 
once we add them all up and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we should get 7. So if we add all of these up, 4 plus 9 plus 5 plus 8 plus 10, that's 36. And then we're going to solve the opposite of dividing by 6 is multiplying by 6. So those go away. 36 plus x equals 6 times 7 is 42. And then the opposite of a positive 36 would be negative subtract 36. And 42 minus 36 should give us 6. So the number that we were missing was 6. <clears throat> I would like you to try these two on your own and then click play to see if you got them right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. We're going to end up dividing by seven and our mean should equal eight. So if we add these up, six plus eight plus fourteen plus nine plus three plus twelve oh, and five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, we have 8 numbers, not 7. Got to include all of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is 57. So 57 plus C <clears throat> divided by 8 equals 8. So the opposite of dividing by 8 is multiplying by 8. 8 times 8 is 64. And then to subtract 57. C should have given you 7. Our missing number on that one was 7. Hopefully you tried this one as well before you started. <clears throat> started playing this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. And our mean should give us 28. So we're going to add them all up and add A. So 32 plus 18 plus 16, plus 23, plus 41, gives us 130. So the opposite of dividing by 6 is multiplying by 6. So 130 plus A, 28 times 6 gives me 168. And then get rid of adding and subtracting, subtract 130. should have given us 38. So our unknown number was 38. Alright, this last question asks us to think a little bit. We have six numbers there. It says, which value would you need to remove to increase the mean? Before we do anything, I'm going to put these numbers in order from least to greatest so I know which ones are the smallest and which ones are the biggest. So our smallest number is 65, then 73, 78, 82, 92, and, oh, 90, then 92. So which value would you need to remove to increase the mean? So if we took the, the average of all these, added them all up and divided by how many we have, we'd get some number. Now if we wanted to make that number bigger to increase it, would we get rid of a small number or a big number? Well, if we want to make the average bigger, we're not going to get rid of a bigger number because then we don't have that big number to average in. So we actually want to get rid of a smaller number. So we would get rid of 65. If we get rid of the smallest number, then if we take the average of just these numbers, it's going to be bigger because we don't have that small number taken into account. So then it says, which value would you need to remove to decrease the mean or make the mean smaller? To make the mean smaller, we would want to get rid of a really big number. Our biggest number is 92. So we would want to get rid of 92 in order to make the mean smaller because then we're only taking into consideration these numbers on this end. 
So compare the means of the two data sets. So they actually want you to figure that out. Right now, I'm not actually going to figure that out. The mean the first time would be larger. And the mean the second time, I'm going to call it mean number two, mean number one, would be smaller. So how would the mean change, our original mean, if we were to add 10 to each number? Well, if we were to add 10 to each number, if we had, instead of 65, we had 75. Instead of 73, we had 83. Instead of 78, we had 88. 82 would be 92. 90 would be 100. And then we'd have 102. So if we added 10 to each number and added all these up and divided still by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, our number, our mean, would be the same except 10 higher. If you don't believe me, let's figure it out. If we found our original mean with these numbers right here, 82 plus 73 plus 90 plus 78 plus 65 plus 92, we had 480 divided by 6. That gives us 80. So our original mean was 80. But if we added 10 to all of them, then we have 75 plus 83 plus 88 plus 92 plus 100 plus 102 gives us 540. Still divided by six numbers gives us 90. So by adding 10 to each number, our mean also went 10 higher. It went up by 10.